What is DMD? DMD is a degree in the engineering school. It's kind of like a combination of computer science and art. That's how I would describe it. DMD is, in my opinion, a program in leadership. It's being a leader in where computers and visual arts are going to join together to create great new things. Well, I guess at this point, DMD is my life. <laughs> Because I've been here at Penn for nine years and I've been involved with the computer graphics community in all that time. I would define DMD as being honestly a major of translation. DMDers, they can speak the language of a variety of different people that they work with and almost no one is educated that way. Almost no one is taught to be able to explain things in a variety of different ways so that everyone knows what's going on. I never thought that I'd find a program so suited to my uh, inclinations towards art and computer science, both at the same time. So for me, DMD is just that. It's a place where I can uh, nourish both my creative and technical potential. One of the projects I think I'm most proud of working on was uh, random creature generation with different amounts of limbs, different head types, different textures. For a procedural graphics class, I created a heart planet, a very spiky heart with adorable bunny planets that had their own tutus. All the general deformations on the surfaces were created by either noise or, for the heart, a mathematical equation. I'm really proud of our mini Minecraft game from 460 because it was the first team graphics project I did and I just love looking back at that project and seeing how much we learned since that project. There's a number of projects that I'm working on now that are augmented reality related. I'm working with some doctors in the vet school. It's really interesting to see how a lot of the things that we're doing in computer graphics can make a difference in terms of uh, real world applications and hopefully make uh, surgery safer and, and, uh, and better. I feel like a lot of us in DMD have like a really funny sense of humor so it's always fun like when you get to finish a project and have some extra time that you can like put in some extra fun hidden stuff in the project for the Minecraft project in the last week I was making chickens that wandered around the terrain the chickens walked into one of the lava blocks they would like explode and turn into a fried drumstick one of the most interesting parts of my job, I think, is, is trying to help people figure out what it is they want to do. It's a gradual process of helping people to discover what their skills are, what they're best at, and what do you enjoy? I really like effects because what makes it interesting is that when you present a shot of effects, what kinds of emotion do you want to transfer via these effects? What kinds of uh, ideas do you want to express via these effects? Right now, I think what I'd really like to do is make tools for artists to use, whether that's an animation tool or a modeling tool or a procedural tool that they can use to place assets in their film or game or whatever they're doing. I think it would be really, really satisfying to make something that I could see people use that would make their jobs easier and also lead to an ultimate creative output. I eventually want to start my own animation studio where I can make my own stories and things. That's, that's a little maybe ambitious, but it's a goal of mine and I hope I can achieve it. Common misconception I would say is digital media design is not an art degree. Everyone tends to think it's an art major. A lot of times they just walk by and they think that we we just do paintings and you know old-fashioned like flip book animations or something, I don't know, when in reality we're all you know on the SIGLAB computers like coding for hours. Being able to take your conception, your ideas, um, your dreams or wishes and to turn them into code that produces imagery is a very interesting and difficult road for many people. Our degree is basically a computer science major, um, but in addition to that we have to take a lot of DMD electives. Fine art classes are usually six hours a week and I usually take one or two along with two computer science classes and that just eats up a lot of time. I had four hours of sleep Saturday night to Sunday, and then I had no sleep last night because I was working on GPU final project that was supposed to work, but didn't. DMD is a very close community. Definitely one reason why is because we all struggle together. Everyone's very friendly and like open to helping others. Everyone's very smart, too. <laughs> I would say of all of the things that are great about DMD, there really are a lot of great things. 
but the best thing is the people that are there. I think it's really fun to talk to people in the community and see like, wow, he or she did something really, really cool. Like, I want to figure out how I can do that. There was one interesting occurrence that happened during a pen previews event where a visiting family came and asked, well, why are digital media design students who they are? So I thought about it a little bit and answered, digital media design students are all alike because they're all different. 